Yes, I am giving away a three month VIP pass for Pixels. It's super easy to enter. Just watch the whole video to find out how. Don't worry, it's not long and you might find it useful. Cheers, guys. Guys, guys, come and check this out. It's pretty damn cool. Guild Pal have only just gone and released the newest update to the one and only Pixels Game Assistant, which is still completely free, by the way. So if you play Pixels and you're not using this, you really are making the farmer's life much more difficult on yourself, believe me. Now this new update brings with it some pretty cool storage management, so that any areas that you have containing storage, such as your speck of land, the post office, the drunken goose, they can all now be tracked using this new tab called storage. You just need to make sure that you have your actual storage open when you're adding it to the tracking screen and feel free to name the storage whatever you like. Now, if I quickly head to the postie, I just want to point out here that... Let's say you add the storage to the tracking page, but then you alter the contents or you simply change your mind. For example, I've decided that I want to keep the Grumpkins to go and cook with. So now you would need to make sure that you click the refresh here to update the tracking page and keep things right. You get me? Then if I head over to my spec of land, you can go about here labeling and tracking any storage chests that you have there. I mean, look at that. Storage management is a very cool addition to the extension. I love it. Now, while I have your attention, it's probably also worth noting the improvements to the tasks screen. So now when you check your tasks via the extension, it'll tell you how many more you need and how much the remainder would cost you on the marketplace. That's pretty cool, right? Take for example, this slime. I only need to hand in two I don't have any, so they would cost me 48 coins right now to buy on the marketplace. However, I do actually have some in storage, and if I grab them quickly, you will see now that it updates the checklist automatically, informing me that I now have what's needed to hand this task in. Pretty awesome. And just to show you again, it's the same with the potberry pies. Last thing to mention guys is that Guild Pal have given us a few extra timer options. So in the timers page now you have these options for 10, 30 and 60 minutes. So that if the need arises you can create a timer now faster and more conveniently than before. Actually the official Guild Pal guide gives you a good example here. Like that, see? So yeah, just one click and now you know when to come back for harvest time. And that's it for this update farmers, all that's left is to gear up for poop collection. I've got cooking to do and I need to keep my hands clean. There we go, that should do the trick. And until next time guys, peace. <laughs>